Hey y'all and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. We got a new stain y'all. You see the stain right there. We're back. We're going to try this again with the bay leaf concoction. I actually have the bay leaves on my stove. I'm going to boil them or simmer them for 30 minutes. Then we're going to apply it to our stains after I add the baking soda and salt to the mixture. Uh, then I'm going to roll them up. I'm not going to soak them. I'm going to actually roll them up and allow that uh, magic to work on those stains for about one to three hours. And we'll see what happens after they've been washed. We'll bring them back out and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is part two of this with the bay leaves. And this is hashtag cleaning hacks 24 hosted by me, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. It will end on December the 30th. We will have a review video or a summary video uh, sometime in the first week of January of 2025. It is an open collaboration. If you have cleaning hacks that you want to try out, um, jump on board this collaboration. It's a lot of fun. You learn a lot of things and you might come up with some new solutions for somebody else. It doesn't have to be a natural cleaning hack. It can be anything that you use cleaning wise. Uh, it could be car tires. It could be your motor. It could be the outside of your home. It could be uh, garden tools. Any number of things. So y'all jump on board. I'm going to pause my dryer so you can hear me, but I have my liquid here. It's also, it's like an amber color by the time it gets through with everything. And it's still kind of warm, but I wanted to go ahead and get this on these stains. I'm just gonna give it a little stir with a plastic spatula and I brought out a measuring cup so I can dip it. And so I've got a little stain right here and I'm just going to apply it to the stain and give it a little rub. And then I'm gonna roll it up. Nothing fancy, but I'm gonna roll it up. And I'm gonna go through all of these t-shirts that I've previously washed and we're going to try to get all these stains out. So let me find some stains. There's some right in here. And again, I'm just going to try to hit all of those stains. Now some of these shirts I might need a lot. Some of them I may only need a little bit. So we're just going to kind of rub that in and roll it up. This one has a stain right here. That's the water that came through the other one. Um, I'm just going to apply it to that stain. Rub it. And roll it up. And we're going to let these sit for an hour or a little bit longer. I'm not going to go the full three hours today. Okay, this one has belly stains right here. So we're going to get those taken care of. And hopefully these stains will come out. So we're working it into the fabric a little bit and then we're rolling it up. This one has makeup stains at the top. I know that camera doesn't show it very well, but there's some makeup stains up there. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. So we're gonna get this folded in a few layers. And maybe that'll take those stains out, we're hoping. We'll see how this works. Now, I know that online, and I looked at several websites, it said that uh, it works best on white. So that will be number three or part three of this. 
that I'm going to do. Got a little bit of stain right here. I know the camera's not really picking it up, but it's there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab it and then roll it. I'm going to run out of places to set my things at. Let's see where the stains are on this one. Down here at, underneath our chicks. There's a big area right here. We're going to concentrate on that area. And if I had a spray bottle, I would have put this in a spray bottle. I didn't have an extra one today. But I've got my mix saved and I'm going to use it for stains. I may do some adjusting to what I have in it. Um, I suggest anything that I share with you, you make it your own. You find what works for you and go with it. I'm just giving you the basics of what I have read online. So this one's got a stain at the top here, and then it's got some stains, belly stains down here. So we're going to do the top one first. This one right here. Right next to the end. Get that one rubbed in. And then we're going to flip the shirt and get these belly stains. So they're right in here. And a couple of small spots down here at the bottom. I think that's all I see. So we're going to rub those. And roll. So this is going to give it time to get in, work into that stain, and hopefully it will take care of those stains. This one has a little stain right there up by the stores. That's the only stain I'm seeing here, so we're going to fold this shirt where we can get to that stain. And they're not bad stains, they're just, you know... They didn't come out the first few times that these shirts were washed. And I like my shirts to look presentable when I go out in public or even on YouTube. So I like to have my shirts looking presentable. There's a little stain there. So we're gonna go with a stain up here, right up here and there's a little bit of staining on the collar as well, so we'll get that taken care of. And that's probably makeup. And roll, 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 roll. And let's see. This is an old t-shirt, y'all. And I am seeing a couple of stains right down here. So we're gonna get these. There's one right up here under the, the O and then there's another little spot here. So we're gonna get these stains. I hope this is gonna be the final wash that's going to have these stains completely out. If not, I will probably add in some liquid laundry, uh, liquid dish soap or something like that to kind of really pull the stains out. We've got some stains on this. So I've got a couple of stains right here by the T. So we're going to hit those. And that's all my t-shirts. So we're going to get these soaking and then I'm going to wash them in a cold wash because they're colors. And we'll come back once they're dry, we'll check them out. And since we're going to be washing them, I just put them inside my uh, 
barrel of my washer and we're going to let them sit for approximately an hour. All right, they're coming out of the dryer, y'all, and I still have I still have the stains. I'll show you the back side. It's there. So, I know it's not working on makeup. Still got a little bit of stain down here. Um, so it's not working too well on the grease stains either. This looks a lot better, although there's still a little bit of staining here. It's just not where I want it to be. The stain up here looks a lot better, but it's just a tiny, tiny little spot there. Y'all, yeah, right, right there. It's just a little bitty tiny spot. Looking better, but it's still not getting all the stain out. Now, I let these saturate for about an hour, hour and a half, something like that this morning. Uh, I was really hopeful that the stains would come out. Now, this shirt actually looks a lot better. I'm not seeing the stains like I did. There's still one right here by that T, though, but it's not as bad as it was. Did it come out of this? It was down here by this O, and it's actually gone, y'all. So that one is a winner. That one the stain came out of. Y'all have to remember, these are set stains. These are not something that was I had put on and just went and washed. They're set. They've been washed and dried several times. So this shirt, a little bit of stain right here. I'll have to move it so you can see it in the camera. Right there. Right there where my fingers are at. This shirt. I'm not seeing the stain zone. So this one is good. Y'all remember there was stains right in here. And one of these had belly stains. This one had belly stains. So the stains are still there. I'll lift it up so you can see it. Maybe you can see it in the camera. But the stain is right there. Right there. So it is still stained. I don't think this stain is ever going to come out. It's just there, y'all. It's right there. And it's not part of the applique that's on there. America needs farmers. This one had staining down here on the belly. And it's still there. It's still there, y'all. And my apron. I was really upset about staining my apron. And y'all, it's still there. It's right there. Right there on that white spot. 
Uh, so what I'm going to tell you is it does not work real well on um, grease stains or makeup stains. And that was a tomato sauce stain, I believe. So it did not work well on that. Some of the stains came out after a second wash. And it probably might come out if I took them and just saturated them and let them sit for three or four hours. But who's got that kind of time? Really and truly, honestly, folks, who's got time to sit around for four hours, three hours, to wait for clothes to, to soak? So I'm gonna recommend that we go back to my video that I did earlier and use the peroxide, the baking soda, and the dish soap and a toothbrush because that gets every stain that I've ever come across out. Um, I haven't tried it on mustard stains, but it's gotten out just about every stain that I've ever had. And so these are gonna get rewashed again, and I'm gonna use that method to get rid of the stains. So this was a bust on uh, videos one and two. We're gonna go to trying it out on the whites next. That will be the third part of this. And supposedly it does better on whites. This is hashtag cleaning hacks 24 hosted by me, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Open collaboration ends December the 30th. I will do a summary video the first week of January. So be on the lookout for that. I may do all three of those collaborations together for that. And um, we'll talk about some of the things that worked, some of the things that didn't work and the learning that I have gotten from this. If you're interested in joining in, just make sure you're using the hashtag and tagging my channel and the playlist in your description box below your video. There will be a playlist underneath this video as well. Be blessed everybody and thank you for watching.